I take this one today. We get a hard time living on the low line, and I'm fine. But then, of course, eventually, you got framed, you got blamed, you got riled out of every hole. And she said, oh My God, this lockdown is killing me. Gonna head to the shop. Not supposed to be. Got something in store for you guys. I said, we hit the low lines looking for a high time and I'm fine But then of course eventually You got framed, you got blamed, you got rised out of every hole And she said, and she said The life's not supposed to be free I said, hey, hey, what's your name? Why are you looking at me that way? I said, get back your thoughts, get all right. Get back the reason that you have one town. And she said, and she said, she said, we get a hard time living on the low lines. I'm fine, but then of course eventually you got framed, you got blamed, you got rise out of every hole. She said, and she said, and she said to me, life's not supposed to be free. So, I, like you guys, have been in isolation for the last, like, well, since proper lockdown, which was, what, Tuesday? It's been nearly a week. I can't deal with it no more. And then on our live videos, which have been great by the way, thank you so much for joining in them. Um, someone mentioned that I don't actually talk a lot about my own car. I've never actually videoed it. I don't really talk about my own car. So this is a light introduction to my baby, my E28. Eventually, you got framed. You got blamed, you got rise out of every hole. And she said, and she said. This car is incredibly special to me. Like all petrol heads, like, like, like Nick Dale with his Mark One, you, you have them for such a long time, they grow to be like a part of you. And this car is very much a part of me. And like modified cars, when we modify them as petrol heads, they're an expression of of you and this thing is an expression of me I mean I grew up a, a, a Merc boy like my, my father like hated BMWs so naturally you know like the whole I mean I'm Australian so you know the whole Ford Holden thing I was Ford by the way um, it was the same with Merc so it was Merc BMW which is which I now know is ridiculous because I love them more but like I was told that BMWs were shit and then I never really paid attention to all the BMWs until like, oh, what was it? Eight years ago, pre big perm. I used to buy and sell a lot of Mark 1 and Mark 2 Golfs. And the dude that is probably listening to this right now that, that sold me that first E30 four door. I drove that car, changed everything. I was like, do you know what? This thing is like old and shit, but still drives really nice. I just, I, I, I wasn't aware of it. And then I started getting into them. Then I bought my first E30, my, my first two-door E30, and I had an M50 in it. The blue one, you know who you are, <laughs> who sold it to me, and I love that thing. And then I ended up, uh, and, uh, and then I ended up buying a red M Tech too. Um, and it was my first conversion that I'd done in a car. I put a 2.8 into it in my garage with my friends. This is all pre-Big Perm. This is before all this shit, before all this happened, like before all this started. And then I stumbled across the 28, the green E28. Found that in a barn. Put an engine into that and then we gave it away. And that, that like left a massive like gap, do you know I mean? And then I'm a big guy. E30s are quite small. E28 seemed to like fit me like a glove, and I just needed another shark nose because I just think they're quintessential BMW, aren't they? They're just quintessential BMW. So I fell on this one by accident. It was in an underground car park up in London. It had an M20 to B25 in it, a 2.5, the single um, single cam one. Um, 
and uh, we quickly put it together. I checked, uh, I'll find a picture. Uh, we quickly put it together, chucked BCs on it, uh, and, ra and ragged it around. It lasted two weeks before it blew up. <laughs> Catastrophically blew up. Um, and I thought, fuck it, we're going to convert it. I'm going to put an M50 turbo into it. And that was the plan. Then, a dude came to a shop that we were doing a subframe reinforcement on, um, on, an, on an E46 M3. He goes, hey man, I've got a spare S54 E46 M3 engine sitting in the back of my garage. Like, really? Long story short, done a deal, ended up buying it. And that engine, in my opinion, is one of the best NA six cylinders of all time. NA, I know you two Jay-Z fanboys are saying that that's the best engine, but in my opinion, the S54 is the best NA six cylinder of all time. And this car is all about that engine. And then Gary Mann made me a set of trumpets. So it sounds like fucking thunder. And then things just escalated from there. I ended up buying a set of wheels from Germany, the wheels that are on it right now, um, which are period correct. They would have come on this car back in like the early 90s. You would have bought, the, bought them for this car. And, and then I stuck 808 hours on it, BC coilovers, short shift, digi dash, that beautiful Recaro, which was in way better condition um, before, uh, before, before I just used it and abused it for the last two years. And this has been my daily. It was my daily. So it's taken an absolute hammer. As you can see, the splitter, absolutely nailed. Um, there's a dent in the wing where a bed fell on it in the garage. Um, I used to drive my kids back and forth to school in it. I used it every day. And that's what these things are all about. I do not like building cars for myself that can't be used. This thing, I had no problem with jumping in it, going to like the other side of the country. And I, I used it, used it hard, as it was meant to. shop and if you're a mechanic you know this you don't really get a lot of time to work in your own cars because when you're busy you're working in customer cars and that and that takes priority so this thing is just we put it together for retro rides um, it worked really well and then we just left it we never really done anything to it and she's been super reliable until recently it's been an absolute prick but um but it, it, it was super super reliable but now given our, our next few weeks off and the fact that we can't really work I'm going to come back and forth here and work on this pull it apart get it painted do the things I should have done in this car right from the beginning because now we have a little bit of time and hopefully get it ready for the summer so this is going to be like a personal vlog from me about this car putting it together. This seems really special to me. So I'm going to bring you along on the journey and hopefully you enjoy it. I love this thing so much. I'm going to make it fucking awesome. So keep watching. Thank you so much for the support with the live videos and everything really. Um, it's times like these you look back and uh, and you sort of reflect on, on shit, isn't it? And uh, I'm very lucky. Thank you very much. But now keep watching because it's going to be fucking cool. <laughs>